Welcome back to another episode of Consciously Clueless. You're here because you want to learn about how to live a healthier life, how to live more sustainably, how to take your everyday actions and make them work for you and the planet. Sometimes it might feel like you've got this figured out and other times you probably feel lost. That's why I'm here. Together, we will learn how to live happier, healthier lives without the need to be perfect and always allowing space for a little cluelessness on this journey to living a more conscious life. Here we go. Welcome to a new series on the podcast called My Vegan Story. If you've listened to the podcast, you'll know that anyone who becomes vegan has a unique path to getting there. There's usually something that pushes someone over the edge and solidifies their vegan status. This series is dedicated to highlighting all of those unique paths. Some make the switch overnight, and some take years to find their way. Some stumble their way to vegan through personal nutrition needs. Others have a profound experience with animals. Either way, by sharing these stories, I hope you'll feel inspired, understood, and find some new resources to further your own vegan story. Remember, if you want to share your vegan story, all you have to do is send me a three to five minute audio to consciouslycarly at gmail.com and we can connect more there. Now let's hear from Brianna Knutson as she shares her vegan story. Hi, my name is Brianna and I want to just share my experience with going vegan. I've been vegan for a little over three years now. Prior to going vegan, I was vegetarian for about 10 years. I originally went vegetarian because I loved animals so much and I didn't want to contribute to their suffering. Anytime I had a meal that included meat, I felt so guilty about it, and the only way I knew how to get rid of this feeling was giving up meat entirely. I was in middle school when I made this decision, and luckily I had parents who were accepting and accommodating of this. They were very supportive and made me vegetarian meals. I, like a lot of people, had a lot of misconceptions of the dairy and egg industry. I thought that no animal was suffering or dying for the egg or dairy industry. I thought that these were products that were naturally produced and didn't think much else of it. I think for a while I was just very oblivious of what was truly happening. I would say I started learning more about it when I was in college. I had a roommate who was vegan and she started telling me more about the egg and dairy industry and how harmful it was to the animals and the environment. I also started doing some of my own research and I started having that same guilty feeling that caused me to go vegetarian. So, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I realized I couldn't be contributing to this any longer. And so I started cutting out eggs and dairy in my diet. At first it was hard. I thought that this wasn't something that I was going to be able to do. You know, I love cheese and other products so much. I, you know, kept thinking about how difficult it was going to be. But around that same time, I ended up going to Twin Cities Veg Fest and it showed me how many amazing vegan options there was out there. And it made veganism seem a lot more approachable and less intimidating than I had originally thought. So that day I decided to go vegan and it has been one of the best decisions that I've made. And, you know, I've continued through this to grow in my vegan journey and continue trying to do more for the animals. So I started animal advocacy. I volunteer with Compassionate Action for Animals, and I've actually helped with the planning of Twin Cities Veg Fest, and this has been something that's been really great. I love being able to share more about veganism and for people to learn more about it and hopefully see how easy it really can be. And so that's just a little bit about my vegan story. I want to thank you all for listening, and I hope that this story might encourage others to go vegan as well. Thank you. Thanks for listening to another episode of Consciously Clueless. If you're enjoying this podcast, please subscribe, share with your friends, put it on social media. Don't forget to tag me. If you're on Apple Podcasts or Good Pods, leave a review. Reviews and shares help more people to see the podcast and join in on the fun. If you want to make sure to stay up to date on future episodes, follow me at Consciously Carly on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, or Pinterest, and head to consciouslycarly.com to sign up for the newsletter. 
Ready for more Conscious Living content? Check out patreon.com slash consciouslycarly and join the exclusive community over there. And finally, if you're ready to take better care of yourself and the world, let's work together. Click the link in the show notes to head to the website, find out more, and schedule a free discovery call with me. Chat soon.